Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Today, I think I might want to expand a little bit more, but before we get into those plans, we have a diplomat. Queen Vinay. What do you want, Queen Vinay? Ah, I see your kingdom has a theater. I'm a lover of the dramatic arts myself. I like the theater too. If I weren't ruling this kingdom, perhaps born to a peasant family, I'd have joined an acting troupe. I've always debated making a cameo in one of our plays, but I'm so busy, hard to find the time. A fun thought, nonetheless. That concludes our ruler's message. We thank your highness for your time. What a wonderful visit. I always appreciate a visit where they're not asking me for things. Probably, probably my favorite type of visit. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, there's this island over here, which is pretty spacious. It doesn't have any, no, it does have a source of stone, so I guess we'd have to settle on the right hand side. We're probably going to need like a soldier or something to clear out the wolves. But that's very doable. I was thinking we'd settle on this third island and then just fill it to the brim with wheat farms. And then we could use the wheat farms to supplement the food in these other two countries and or uh, other two islands and free up the space for more important buildings. So I guess... I guess I'll get started on that plan. I'm gonna train some settlers. And we need to find our military building. Yeah, so I can train some swordsmen as well. And then we also need to build a exploration ship. Which I'll just plonk over here, I guess. And last but not least, I think we're going to want another ballista and another archer tower on this zone over here. And that'll be what I'm doing in Ganymede. Why is there an exclamation mark? Okay, we've lost a little bit of food exposure. Eh, sucky, but no big deal. In the meantime, we can take a look at the food balance here. Apparently, we're overly filling up our pig farms. We don't have enough room for it. We also don't have enough tools for the butchers. No, no, we, it seems like we do. Did I ever go around and get around to making the second blacksmith? Let's see. Here's a stockpile. Here's a large tavern. I might not have... Unless I just put it, like, in this zone down here. It might be this blacksmith, actually. Yeah, we've got two blacksmiths. Okay. Uh, I don't remember why I was looking over here. I guess I was just checking up on the stuff. I guess we could start shipping more meat over. I think I already have a... Yeah. I could probably pick up... I don't know, 80 beef. Drop off 80 beef. And that'll be the root. Makes sense to me. Just gonna let some time advance. We have no idle workers, so we definitely want to take the opportunity and build more housing in Crescent. No reason not to. Take a moment for the trees to get cleared out, and then a couple more manor houses will have been constructed. There we go. Not only we're out of materials, we're out of wood. Do we have a wood shortage? No, we shouldn't. We've gotten a merchant ship and Ganymede. 
Um, what would I want? The only thing I really kind of would need in getting me to stone. I guess I'll grab some wood just because, well, no, we have limited storage space. I don't think we're buying anything. Let's see, are my swordsmen and settlers done? They are. Do I have my unit transport over here? It's probably still parked near Crescent, if I had to guess. Unless it just got destroyed. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, obviously... Hold up, are you... No, this is not the settler. Th this is the settler. Same symbol. Alright, those guys are loading up, and we might as well get our exploration ship to travel. Where do I want to put the keep? Probably would... There's not really a nice, like, centralized location for it. I guess we could put it up here. That wouldn't be too bad. We're on this little nook over here. I'm just trying to think of, like, unfertile lands, basically. I guess over here wouldn't be too bad. Put that thing. This little infertile zone. Yeah. And I'm gonna put some troops down. So we start with some resources. Obviously, we're gonna have to make use of the resources as soon as possible. Uh, we do have enough for a manor house, so I might as well just build the manor house. Might not be the most efficient use of our resources, but it is what it is. We can get started on the farmland as well. The settlers I'm not going to use immediately. Uh, we'll pop them when the time comes. Alright, there's apparently a charcoal shortage. Can we build... Please tell me we can build a woodcutter. That would be so cucked. I can build a forester. Oh, it's too far away from the roads. Can I just build, like, a tactical road up here? I absolutely can. I think I will do that. Desperate times call for desperate measures. There we go. So, our peasants are just going to be in employed in the farms and also the woodcutting industry and that's basically it all right meanwhile we've gotten a diplomat from queen turstig what do you want we just had a new apple crop come in this year's apples are particularly delicious i just love apples sounds yummy our people love that too indeed it is so delicious tell me what is the favorite food of your kingdom Pork. Interesting. I suppose I can see the appeal. This concludes our ruler's message. We thank your highness for your time. Yeah. Another pleasant visit. Feels good, man. Man, why are these peasants so unhappy? They just don't have any, any of the goodies that they want. Well, whatever. It's going to take a little while for their shit to get set up. Particularly... Oh. Particularly this forester needs to be made. Not very good. Oh well. Uh, what should I name this? I guess I'll name this island... Breadbasket? That seems a little bit demeaning and too literal. How about Milton? It'll have to do. Alright, we need one piece of stone. Where's the peasant with it? Yeah. Good old... Big Riz. They're already learning woodcutting apprenticeship. Woodcutting apprentice? <laughs> They're learning woodcutting apprentice. They are apprentice woodcutter. So that is nice. 
Meanwhile, Crescent is low on wood as ever. It is slowly gaining surplus. So we just need to not build super duper quickly. Our peasants want a theater again. God, why is every... These peasants are so entitled. It is ridiculous. Let's see, can I even build a theater? Well, it's not an advanced town. No, it is. We need 175 wood. I mean, we're almost there. It's going to be a little while. I guess I'll clear out the space for it now, though. This is a nice, like, three block block, so it'll fit just fine. Uh, while that's going, might as well take a peek at Ganymede. Let's see, the Ganymede people, the residents of Ganymede are doing perfectly fine. Uh, I guess I, because they're idle, I'll have them build some peerage. Why not? There we go. That's all of our stone. So. That's whatever. Oh my god. These people are fucking pissed. Why are they so picky? The job priority's bad. Okay, first of all, timber workers need to be up here. I'm gonna add some settlers. It's gonna be a little bit awful. But we need more workers, and we can use these guys to build a charcoaler. It's going to need some wood. I guess I'll have the extra dudes uh, clear cut some wood over here. And that will fuel our industries. <laughs> this is a really rough start. Can we build a... We cannot build a manor. We could build a cottage once we get the wood for it. But that's going to be... It's going to have to come later. I'll build... I want to get this shit done quickly, so I'm going to build just a bunch of tiny charcoal makers. Uh, we're also going to need a stockpile. I'll build a small one. Uh, here, I guess, next to the keep. And we can build a small market, I think. I guess, yeah, right here should be fine. What we really need is a dock, I think. And I guess a quarry. Because the quarry only requires wood. Let's see, three peasants left the kingdom. That's fucking god-awful. This is a real tight one. I guess I can train some more settlers in Ganymede. It's real sucky, but... It is what it is. I'm playing fast and loose. You have dragon sided. Hopefully they are merciful and do not target Milton. That'd be pretty rough if they did. All right, a charcoaler has been made. So if we go to job priority, definitely charcoal makers. Uh, we're just gonna want three of them for now. We have no one farming. It's pretty horrendous. Oh, did all the dragons just instantaneously get bodied? That's pretty awesome. Meanwhile, in Crescent, we finally have the space for the theater and the wood for it too. So I'll place this bad boy right here. Boom. Fantastic. I'll get a stone road behind it as well. Magnificent. So that should increase their happiness by an incredible degree. Meanwhile, Milton continues to languish. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> there continues to be less and less people. This is absolutely horrible. We're just going to have to keep importing people. Alright, good luck. 
Hope the Vikings are merciful. Uh, you might as well just go absolutely ballistic, Sir Lohan is. Alright, settlers, settle. Alright, a charcoal maker is cooking. We even have the space for our quarry to start getting made. Which I'll just get started now. Okay, please make some in charcoal for me. And this horrible shortage. Oh yes, we're back. We're back in business. Fantastic. I guess near the quarry I'm probably going to want another stockpile, but we don't have the stone for it. Oh boy. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to build some hovels. Uh, just to house the homeless. Because they are... They're languishing. Stuff's going to be a little bit awkward for a little while. Can I not build a dock? Dock needs five stone. Everything needs stone. We definitely played it way too greedy. Oh, that's good to know. It's a good lesson for the future. Oh, someone even moved into Milton. Um, and other people were turned away because they didn't have the beds. Additionally, we're starting to get stone out of our quarry. The food is looking pretty sketchy. We did just get a bunch of it. Yeah, we should be. It says 23 eaten by homes, 34 food from the farms. So we should be doing pretty okay on that front. It's just going to take a little while to set up. We have four idle workers. I definitely think... Probably just go on another quarry, I guess. And a stockpile next to the quarry. So that they don't have to lug the stone all the way across the entire island. What do you want, Tierstig? Vikings have caused some damage. Can you send some troops to help? No. How dare you. I have one troop, and it's guarding my horrible vo border <laughs> island. We absolutely cannot spare troops. I'm insulted to even think about asking me for that. I guess, meanwhile, we have some idle people in Ganymede. So we might as well build some wonderful walls. And now we're out of stone. Sweet. Very cool. Meanwhile, in Crescent, everyone has a job. Are you serious? There's no idle workers. Is there at least builders? No, there's no builders. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to build some more settlements here. We have the resources, we just need the space. Which... Crescent has a ton of space. So we absolutely can fit more buildings. There we go. Can I train settlers in Crescent? That'd be really nice if I could. No, it is an outpost. I guess... We're kind of hitting our limit over there for houses. We could build some houses behind the pig farms. In theory. Just build in some walls so I don't forget. Yeah, there's some space. We could maybe, maybe work like a block over there. Uh, I'll buy some wood. Work Crescent, because Crescent is always doing low on wood. We've got another diplomat. What do you want? And greetings. We were thinking of you recently. And we've prepared a gift that is too kind. That's so nice of you, Queen Vene. If only you could give that <laughs> gift to my languishing island. But whatever. I've spent a lot of stone, so getting a little extra stone is definitely a valuable addition. I think I'm going to use it to build a couple ballista tower towers. 
You can actually prepare the little things on top of those towers before they're even built. So that is wonderful. Meanwhile, Milton, we have a crap load of stone to work with. We have some idle workers. We still have beds for everyone. Everything's looking fantastic. I guess... How are you going to make people happy? Giving them some fruit would be good. So I guess, first things first, I'm going to want a windmill, because the windmills are awesome. Second thing second, I guess we could fit an orchard back here. That'll actually hold up. Uh, fuck. Is there, like, a good space? So here's the 3x3. Three three. Yeah, this corner is good. No, this is a 3x3, three three too. Hmm. Okay, back here would be good, actually. So we're going to need some roads. Obviously, I'm just going to build, like, a normal shitty road. And I'm going to build it here. That way we can have orchards sort of occupy this zone. That'll employ some people and also give them good health, which will give them good happiness. Probably want to get started on another manor house. So much of this land is fertile. It's fertile. It's kind of a waste uh, to build on it, but whatever. It's got to be done. So is there anything else? We probably want a well right here. So we now have our fruit farmers working. Or builders. No, yeah, fruit farms working. I thought they had little pieces of stone, but no, it's just their hats. Their farm hats or whatever. Maybe I'll build more swordsmen and have them help guard Milton. Just because it's such like a undefended zone. It's not going to help against the dragons. <laughs> There's not much we can do against the dragons until we get towers set up. Are all our stockpiles full? Without... F the peasants are starving? Where are the peasants starving? Are they starving in Milton? Looks like they might be starving in Milton. Because everywhere else has got a fuck ton of food. Okay. Good to know. I guess I'll build another stockpile in Ganymede. Just to keep, you know, storing more and more and more stuff that we don't need. I love having stuff. Oh no. The dragons are coming from our completely undefended flank. That's not good. Okay, luckily our ballista towers are just so long range, it doesn't even matter. Do we have idle people? We do have idle people. I guess I'll... I'll build a couple ballistas on our tall towers on the edges of town. So they can maybe, I don't know, destroy ships before they arrive in Crescent. I'll even add another ballista tower here. We probably could use an archer tower. There we go. Crescent's looking well defended. Their defenses might even be built before the Vikings come. Which would be really nice, if true. Uh, we've got another platoon of swordsmen. I'm going to have them go guard Milton. So we absolutely need to guard this soon. Very nice. Let's see. So a bunch of Vikings are dropping off in our right-hand flank here. They've destroyed my fishmonger. Highly disrespectful. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone is really going to get past all the towers and stuff in Crescent. Like, yeah, they're coming in and they're fucking shit up, but... It is what it is. Oh. They destroyed my orchard. 
These guys are such bastards. I guess we need more defenses in our bottom left corner in Ganymede too. This shit is looking turbo fucked. We even have guys making it up to our outpost. It looks like we're sinking some ships. So that is cool at least. I'm just gonna continue to build outwards and repair some of my things. I guess I'll build another castle block here. Just get that rolling. We apparently have some Vikings. No, they're not attacking Milton. There's not much to steal. It's understandable. Peasants want a tavern in Milton. Well, I mean, I'm happy to oblige them. Uh, there's some shitty unused space over here, I guess. So we might as well put it here. That covers all of our houses. So that'll make people happier. Is there any piers I can build here? Yeah, I could. I guess here will do fine. I'll build another couple castle blocks, I think. This corner. I guess we also want to fill out this zone with piers. There we go. Just so we can round out the area, get more territory to work with. In theory, if we get our economy rolling in Milton, we'll be able to kind of do a similar thing. There's this huge amount of shallow salt water here, which could be totally subsumed for more housing. Which is very nice. Looks like we have plenty of food in town now. It probably would make sense to build a granary. Maybe a small one. A small one would not be bad. What do you want, Queen Vinay? More resources? Sure. We need more armaments. We look forward to your shipments. I think we already do ship her armaments, don't we? Let's see. Yeah, a very small amount. Eh, whatever. I'm not gonna go nuts with it. I don't think there's any penalty for not, like, giving in to the demands there. We've gotten yet another diplomat as well. Could we re renegotiate our prices? Sure, whatever. Default, she's happy to pay the prices. Now let's see your prices. Default. Great. Awesome. I don't care about her prices. You have to manually buy shit from her. Just such a pain in the ass. It's just not worth it doing, basically. It's not like there's special resources that you can only get from certain islands or zones. So, looks like our tavern has finally been built. Very cool. The happiness is going up. It's now at 75. A very reasonable amount of happiness. We've gotten more food storage. I do think it's high time we build a dock. I guess I'll build it as outwardly as possible, just so that we can make use of the space. Can we build a pier? Uh, I don't think I even want to. I'll build a stone bridge, and then I'll build a road to connect to it. I guess... want to go like this. It's a little bit inefficient, but... That leaves a 3x3 three three for... A wonderful farm. So, of course, I'm going to go for that. This is Milton, after all. Let's see. Oops. Merchants and Crescents. 
I'll buy some wood from them. We're still completely out of space. What the hell? Uh, I guess I'll build another manor house over here. And then we can build some castle blocks behind it. There is a ridiculous amount of housing shortage in Crescent. Crescent actually is starting to overtake Ganymede in population now. It's pretty bonkers. We're at our cap for people in Milton as well. So we definitely want to build some housing somehow, somewhere. We could build a house in this corner if we build like a pier. So I guess I'll get one of those rolling. They'll build this little pier and then build a house on top of it, and then it'll be all an infertile land. A wonderful addition. Uh, one thing we could consider doing with Milton is also having it supply our towns with wood. It does look like Ganymede is suffering a tiny, tiny, tiny wood shortage. So even though it has a surplus, let's see, is there a place that's not next to another forester here? Oh, I could put a... Let's get some piers in this zone. Then I can put another forester over here. It'll be awesome. Please build more. Give more stone. It has been done. Another manor house for Milton. Very wonderful. How's the meat situation, Ganymede? Looks like we're starting to actually build a very tiny meat surplus. That's good. We have no idle people in Ganymede because they're all in some sort of industry. That is insane. I mean, I think it's all... No, they're all builders. <laughs> Never mind, we have some space. Uh, let's see. First of all, first of all, Forrester. Wonderful. We've got that rolling. We'll build more there in a sec. How's the dragon situation? Dragon was instantaneously bodied. Wonderful. The black dragon is also beelining for Ganymede. Ganymede is mostly wellish defended. Oh yeah, the dragon should have attacked the towers up there. It was its final mistake. There are going to be Vikings coming now, which is going to be pretty irritating, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll get some more swordsmen. Just to make use of the lack of beds in Ganymede, so that we can make use of the population. Yep, seven people visited, none could find a home. Now only 21 found a home, so that is perfect. Now we'll get these swordsmen going to Milton. What? Why are they attacking my mill? What little fucks. And by mill I mean quarry. Don't destroy it again. Thank you. What pieces of shit. Just stay around there, sir. Johannes. Meanwhile, a metric shitload of ships seem to be just going... I don't know, they're probably going around Ganymede to go to Tear Stakes territory. So that's kind of the way they usually go. What is this guy? Does he have a horse? No, oh, he's dead. Never mind. Less big than I thought he was. Yeah, that is specifically what they're doing. I think. No, those guys are actually coming for Ganymede. Well, we don't really have much more in the way of defenses here, so we might get we might be getting a little bit fucked, but it seems like they're still doing the old water strategy. And they're no longer, they're hitting a wall instead of the manor house, so unintentionally we've somehow defended all the property without building a single tower extra. I'm not going to complain. Viking did get close to our outpost, even touched it. 
but they were destroyed. As always, we just need more and more towers, but it's not super duper urgent. Oh, Milton's absolutely pogging like crazy. But they want a church or library. I guess I can get a church or library. There we go. It's going to take a good chunk of our stone. As long as the peasants are happy, it means that we'll be able to get more and more of them. So we can keep working our jobs and keep expanding. Let's see, I think I'll have Sir Anselm Mouse camp in the center. This guy camp in the left. That way we have good coverage with our soldiers. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of food to exposure somehow. Probably fruits. No big deal. We can build like a produce storage in one of these little barren zones. And that'll fix that problem. It might make sense to just get started on... Oh, it does not make sense to get started on the piers. We need to deliver some tools, I think, to Milton. Uh, does Ganymede produce a surplus of tools? Let's see. Plus one total change per year. Okay, it doesn't. What about Crescent? Plus five, and then zero used. Oh no, this is armament. No, it's a pretty much this, a similar situation here. I mean, we have a bunch of iron, but we're using up all our iron. And tools are very, very precious. Uh, I guess I'll get started on a transport ship. Or not a transport ship, a... Cargo ship. I guess we're going to want to build a couple of them. And I'll have this cargo ship just do like a one-time delivery, I think, of tools. And then we'll be able to clear all the rocks around the quarry. Ooh, we actually have a bunch of idle people now. But we still have no, no good territory. Fuck. Oh, this... It would take a hundred stone to clear out enough territory. We're really getting space crunched. I guess there's this little zone right here, which isn't really good for farmland. I'll do it. This will be where the third manor house is. I'll give the peasants something to do. Maybe we should get some iron quarries, iron mines going. And then we could just build the tools ourselves. I guess I will do that. It's not the greatest situation, but still. We could get like a small stockpile, like directly adjacent to the mine. So that they don't have to walk too far. But you know, I think on that note, we can kind of end the episode here. We have created another settlement in our kingdom, our empire, I guess you could say, with dreams of eventually turning it into a giant farming island. The dreams are currently unrecognized, uh, for there is a lot of early struggle, but that's fine. We're now doing perfectly fine in Milton. I think overall, it was a little bit rockier in the start than it was for Crescent, but We've sort of hit that area where it's smooth sailing a lot quicker than we did in Crescent. Which is very fantastic. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Kingdoms and Castles. Goodbye!